So my friend Daniel is going to be getting married here at the beginning of the next month. And instead of going out clubbing and hitting the bars like you typically would think of for a bachelor party, we're a bunch of good old country boys. We went riding, and I gotta say we had a good time here. So that's what all this footage in today's video is from. Mostly a lot of little mud holes here that you find deep in the woods that are deceptively deep. This little play pond wasn't too bad, but you'll see some little mud holes here where it's... They're not super deep, but the bottom is just slick as snot. We had a good range of vehicles on today's ride. We had a couple Suzuki's. Daniel has a uh, 750 King Quad. His cousin Johnny has a 500 King Quad. You can see Lynn here ripping on his 550 Grizzly. I was out on the good old Big Bear and we also had a Razor 800 and a Can-Am Maverick Turbo out with us too. So a good a range of buggies. And of course Seth was here on his KX450 dirt bike and we'll get a little hill climbing action out of him here in a little bit to change up the video a little bit from all the mud. And and again, I was impressed and everyone else was impressed with how well my good old Big Bear 400 kept up with everyone and didn't do so good in the mud holes as you'll see, but hey, solid rear axle, not a lot of ground clearance. I got maybe like four inches from the, the bottom of the rear differential because of that. So hey, it is what it is, but uh, I still had fun. All these guys had fun. And let me tell you, this is my kind of bachelor party right here. So enjoy the video and let me know in the comments below if you guys like this kind of deep woods mud riding. And while all of us guys with four wheel drives were playing in the mud, Seth was doing some hill climbs. Probably shouldn't have shut her off, Lynn. Your exhaust is filling up.
pretty deep. You got a little buddy hanging out here with you. <laughs> oh, and it smells divine. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... Put her in neutral, give her a few revs, Lynn. Make sure you get that water cleaned out of your exhaust, Larry. You're good, you're good. I'm coming out. I like how his headlight winks at you as he's going through the water. <laughs> I can't begin to stress to you guys how steep these couple hero climbs are right here. Again, the camera doesn't do it justice. You get a little bit of a scope right there as Seth crashes over the top of how steep right this is. But this power line is a steep hill. And it always amazes me how these cameras make them look like they're like almost flat. There. De definition of studly right there at the Kawasaki bike I don't know about the rider but the bike definitely I agree. <laughs> and here's what happens when uh, you run out of studliness <laughs> So these kind of mud holes right here are the dangerous kind, especially if you're out riding by yourself. You look at these and you think, oh, that's nothing. That's just a little water hole. And then you get in them and you just sink. Again, with as many side-by-sides that are out there riding the trails today, these little guys get rutted pretty deep. And then you just, you just sink to the bottom. And again, it's very deceptive and very dangerous when you're out riding by yourself. That's why it's always good. To ride with at least one other person if you can now there are trees around here but most of your power sports winches have like a 50 foot cable and so we might have been hard pressed here to stretch a cable from a winch out to a tree to get you out if you're by yourself and get stuck but that's what we have here in central Pennsylvania in the Appalachian Mountains that's what we're used to and nice thing with the four-wheeler like Lynn here you can usually throw your weight around and get it out pretty easy So again, Daniel here is on a 750 Suzuki King Quad, and I've never really considered Suzuki King Quads as far as buying a four-wheeler. Again, I'm still on the hunt and search for a good used four-wheeler, and I always kind of just overlook the Suzukis. If you guys have been with the channel for long, you know my father-in-law has an old uh, Suzuki, I think it's a 300 King Quad that has the, the high, low, and super low gear. That thing's a little tank. And Daniel's newer King Quad here seems like a really nice four-wheeler. I don't know, what do you guys think of the King Quads? I'm going to have to talk to Daniel here and maybe see if I can get some time on his King Quad, do a little review here, and see if it's a possible buggy to add to the list of four-wheelers for me to get.
And of course, Dave and his Turbo X3 here is making these holes look easy. Two O drive pass, like nothing. Where's Mighty Mouse when you need him? Uh, I don't think it would show that up. It would through the mud holes. I mean, it would have went through it easy, but it wouldn't show it up in style. No, probably not. Back in the middle, like... Our Max would have walked through these. <laughs> the belt and that thing's going, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> it is it is a Polaris after all. I don't know, this might be more in a splash zone. off from us and we got him. I think you're digging a hole in. Lock your dip. You only got one wheel spinning in the front. Now you're in. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it anyway.
Remember how I said about my solid rear axle and the big bear being kind of a disadvantage? Well, now you see why. Just high center so easy. And this is why I didn't hit too many of mud holes. I hit one other besides this one that no one filmed. But, I mean, it was the same result. I did not get very far at all. So, that's what you get for having an older machine with a solid rear axle. You've got to have bigger tires to get your ground clearance up there to make it any good at mud. However, though, the Big Bear is not the best at going through the mud. For a small, lightweight, underpowered machine, as you see here, it's quite the little billy goat in four-wheel drive to climb this stuff. This was scary, I'm not going to lie. The first time up this, I was, uh, my heart was racing, the adrenaline was pumping, but once I conquered it the first time, I went up it several times and it was fine. So the Big Bear is surprisingly a pretty good climber. That's going to finish us up on this bachelor party ride again a big shout out to jen and daniel to their soon approaching marriage i wish you guys all the best of luck and a happy life and thanks for inviting me along on the ride and a big thank you to all my viewers out there and supporters of the channel you guys i couldn't do these videos if not for your motivation to keep going i know things have been slow with the new business i haven't been putting out videos like i used to but i am doing my best to get to where i can knock out more videos again on a regular basis so thanks for sticking with me and joining in and until the next video god bless and keep on riding